Well, hello there, YouTube. I thought <laughs> of a subject I could talk about since I'm not out riding. It's a little chilly, and I, my kids are coming in from San Antonio today, too, so I probably won't get out tomorrow. <clears throat> but uh, my wife and I used to travel all around the country on the Goldwing before we had the spider. And uh, I tell people of some of the nightmare stories that we had. But I guess I can start with the last trip. My wife and I were <clears throat> driving, riding to Illinois on the Goldwing, and we were in Illinois, and it's just, uh, even in July, the storms are just outrageous there. Uh, we were driving, and we ran into a tornado, and the trees were blowing across the road, and, and branches, and everything just blowing across the road. I'm thinking, oh, God, we got nowhere to go, so we just had to keep on going, and and then, you know, it's just raining, like monsoon-style rain after we got through that. And then we got to uh, another town. We, we <coughs> excuse me, we, we, we got through it, so we stopped and ate. And by the time we ate, the storm caught back up to us again. So the tornadoes are the scariest things to go to when you're out exposed on a motorcycle. And that was my wife's very last trip. She says, no more never going again. Then on the way home, we hit such heavy rain, lightning was striking like six feet from us, like on each side, just striking and striking. And just, you know, I told her we had helmets cams on or helmet to, we could talk on. And I told her, if we get hit, we're dead. There's no way we can survive this. And then we just get stuck in these conditions. And, and that was the worst trip. That was the very last one she took with me. On some other trips, we, uh, we hit uh, temps of 109 degrees, and we were coming home one time, and it was 109 degrees, and she told me, we need to stop. I says, we're only like, uh, you know, 10 miles from Fort Stockton. She goes, we need to stop now. She was passing out on the back of the Goldwing. She was, it was so hot, she was losing consciousness. And I pulled over, and luckily I had a, a cooler with a lot of, frozen water ice in there so I had a I had a wet vest and I stuck the wet vest in the cooler and I put it right on top of our head so we're along the interstate with these big wet cooler wet vests on top of our heads and I'm glad she said pull over because I I got off and almost vomited right there it was so hot um, so we uh, continued on <coughs> excuse me after we got cooled off and we made it to Fort Stockton and my wife had to go sit. I went in the freezer section and just stood there for like an hour trying to get cooled off because it was so hot. So we sat in Walmart for like a couple hours and there was a restaurant across the street. So we took a ride. We got on and went over there for the restaurant, ate for, you know, stayed in the restaurant for a couple hours. And I think we left at seven o'clock and it was still 109 degrees. So we made it up uh, to Fort Stockton and, and stayed in a hotel. But uh, we've had those 109 degree temperatures several times going north Texas and Lubbock. It's 109 degrees and there's no way to cool off. You, you have a wet vest, you soak it, you put it on, you put your, uh, uh, you know, your jacket on that breathes and it hits like air conditioning, but it does dry out pretty quick. So some terrible, terrible conditions we, we get stuck in. We got stuck in a rain in New Mexico, and it rained sideways. One cloud, one cloud just brought, brought in this horrible sideways rain and, and, and wind. just one cloud. It's amazing how, how things like that can happen. We hit some wind in uh, Arizona. Uh, I was pulling the trailer, and I had the gold one again. And the wind was so strong, I saw this big, huge sagebrush rolling towards us. And I'm thinking, okay, do I speed up? Do I slow down? I sped up, and it broadsided us. And it busted my front fender, the back of my front fender. I had, my wife had thorns in her, in her shoes. And I, and, and I had to get all the debris out from underneath the gold wing because it just, it just plummeted us. And it, uh, it broke some stuff. It broke uh, some lights. <laughs> and I had to pull all that stuff out. So crazy things that you run into. I tell people these stories, and they say, Jim, I'm never riding with you ever, never riding with you. Because, uh, you know, we had the, oh, I went by myself. 
the very last year, a couple of years ago, I went by myself and I rode up to Colorado. I did a uh, uh, million dollar highway. I rode all the way up to Rocky Mountain National Park, did that route, and then drove home. And I stayed in Lamar, Colorado. And I drove home the, to Austin the, the same day. It was like 682 miles. But I hit rain, so much rain that I stopped and got gas. I couldn't even see. I just drove right over the curb. It was raining so bad. I couldn't even see the couldn't even see the drive. It just went right over the curb. Then I got down the road a bit and I I was going like 55 and I saw a car ahead of me just go whoosh, water flew out. So I moved over. I thought I'd move over to the other lane and I wouldn't hit it. Well, there was a a flood coming from the field. It was like water 1 foot deep on the road. And good thing I was on the Goldwing because it cut through it, but it just went poof, and I got covered in mud, completely covered in mud. I think I did a video on that. I showed it when I was covered in mud. But So I guess what I, I, I just keep going and, and pushing through even in this terrible weather. So I guess that's a... <laughs> now, there's probably more stories too, but I just can't remember them. So I guess I'll... I'll have another episode unless I get on ride Saturday or Sunday, maybe Sunday. Bye.